what we're talking about is palm muting and strumming from the from the correct string so from the d string d g and b g chord is from the e string e a and d c is from the a d and, and g and then from for the f it's g b and e or g it's g no it's d g and b da, 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 da. got to keep all my letters correct so dun, 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 dun. and now look at my hand i'm i'm using really like i'm palm muting here which is gives it that sound but i'm really using just my wrist to strum and and in, you know which you're doing a good job of that too And so what's kind of interesting also is that I, I really have my, my, my pick sort of like this and I have like my, the top of my finger right here. And I, I actually, it's kind of like a weird habit, but I, I strum the strings with the top of my finger now too sometimes. So I can really feel like where the strings are. I just started that when I started playing and, and sometimes it rubs my finger now like like it like it, it takes the top of it off but not not that bad so it's not going to like take your fingernail off so but anyway but but that way it it helps okay um to like kind of know where you are but um but really what you want to do is i mean it can be boring so you want to do it for a little bit like try a little bit of this song and then try to raise the speed a little bit so that you're not stopping because that's what everybody does is the you know and strum from the wrong string or whatever come on in buddy so um so so that's not what you want to do is is to stop in the middle of the of the song so all of that it should be pretty easy like as you as you continue to like work through the tune but then we got to think of something else to do 